Welcome to Daron Yoga, everyone, and welcome to our Ashtanga short forum session. We'll start with the chant. As we go today, as always, modify when you need to try to keep up. We won't explain so much the poses. It's a practice class. So if you need, there's plenty of how-to sessions. Check them out. And today, let's enjoy practice with our Ujjayi breath. Hands to the heart, close the eyes, we'll chant together. Inhale. Ah. Release the hands, open the eyes, feet together, samastitihi. Take one breath here. Feel your bandhas, activate. Breath. And here we go. Surya Namaskara A. Yekam, inhale, arms up. Dway, exhale, forward fold. Bend the knees if needed. Trini, inhale, lengthen, look forward. Chatwari, step back. Slow motion, lower chaturanga. Inhale, baby cobra or upward facing dog. Stay another two breaths, warm up the spine. Into the downward facing dog, adho mukha svanasana. If you need to bend any at a time, go ahead. Root the hands, really root your fingertips to the ground, your fingers reach the hips back to elongate the spine some of you will need to bend the knees that's okay some of you are runners and have the calves tight enjoy the stretch one more ujjayi breath exhale completely look forward step to the front lengthen and exhale fold Inhale, rise all the way up. Look up. Exhale, samastitihi. Inhale, arms up. Yekam. Dway. Exhale, forward fold. Trini. Inhale, look forward. Chatwari. Exhale. Chaturanga Dandasana. Pancha. Inhale, shine through, upward facing. Shut. Exhale. Adho Mukha. Downward facing. Bandas. And Ujjayi breath. Keep the mind steady and present. Exhale. Look forward, step or jump. Lengthen. Ashtao, exhale, forward fold. Now I inhale, arms over the head. Samastitihi. Let's name the poses in Sanskrit. Yekam Urdvahastasana. Dwe Uttanasana. Trini Arda Uttanasana. Chatwari Chaturanga Dandasana. Pancha Urdva Mukha Shvanasana. Shat Adho Mukha Shvanasana. One. Two. Three.
four. Five. Sapta. Arda Uttanasana. Ashta Uttanasana. Nawa Urdva Hastasana. Samastitihi. Surya Namaskara B. Bend the knees. Yeka Mutkatasana. Inhale. Dway. Exhale. Uttanasana. Trini. Inhale. Arda Uttanasana. Chatwari, exhale, Chaturanga. Pancha, inhale, Urdva Mukhasvanasana. Shat, exhale. Right foot, inhale, slow and steady, Virabhadrasana, warrior one. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, forehead relaxed. Exhale, down dog, left foot, inhale. Vira Bhadrasana, warrior one. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale. Exhale, down dog, hold. One. Two. Three, breathe in. Four. Empty the breath, puncha the sha, jump forward. Show the sha, exhale, forward full. Sapta the sha, bend the knees, utkatasana, inhale. Samastitihi. Bend the knees, yeka mutkatasana, inhale. Dwe, exhale, uttanasana. Trini, look forward, lengthen the spine. Chatwari, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, shoulders back. Exhale. Right foot, inhale. Exhale, back down, chaturanga. Inhale. Exhale. Right away, left foot. Inhale. Warrior one, Virabhadrasana ka. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Really maintain the awareness of your breath. Make that the mantra of your class. One more. Pancha the shot, jump forward. So the shot forward for. Bend the knees, inhale, Utkatasana, Samastitihi. Last one, I'll just count this time. Inhale, Yekam. Dwe, exhale. Trini, inhale. Chatwari, exhale. Pancha, inhale. Shat, exhale. Sapta, inhale, warrior. Ashta, exhale, Chaturanga. Nawa, inhale. Desha, exhale. Ekadisha, inhale, left foot warrior. Dvadisha, exhale, Chaturanga. Trayodisha, inhale. Chaturdisha, exhale. Fully present. Pancha desha, look forward, jump. Inhale. Show desha, exhale. Sapta desha, inhale, bend the knees. 
Samastitihi. Hop the feet hip width apart. Hands on the hips. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. We're going to take only one today. So either go for the toes or like me, if you want, step on the hands. Parahastasana. Lengthen and exhale. Surrender into your forward fold. Breathe. We'll stay a bit longer. One. Really tuck the lower belly in. Relax the forehead and the neck. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, bring the hands to the hips. Inhale, rise all the way up. Samastitihi. Opening the right foot to the right side for Trikonasana triangle, arms up. Reach forward and exhale, hand down either on the leg. If it reaches the big toe, great. If not, don't worry about it. Left arm up, gaze up, breathing too. Inhale, come up and turn. Exhale, second side. Try not to have weight on the left hand. Keep the left leg strong. Maybe a micro bend in the knee. Inhale, come up. Turn around. Left arm up, right hand on your hip, and revolved, Parivrita Trikonasana. Left hand down, can be on the leg anywhere, right arm up towards the sky. Maybe take the gaze up if it works for you, breathe. Steady gaze. Inhale, come up and turn. Right arm up, left hand on the hip. And exhale, take the second side. Inhale, rise. And samastitihi. We're going to open the right foot to the right side. We're going right into the revolved. So take the left knee down and take the left elbow across. Set yourself up. Any variation that works for you. Maybe left hand to the ground. Lift the right knee, the left knee. And if available, left heel down, right arm over the head. And you can just stay with arms at the hands at the heart that's fine too breathing inhale come up turn lower the back knee to the ground tuck the belly way in set up try to bring the armpit towards the knee lift the back knee Stay here or lower the back heel. Left arm over the head, breathe. Inhale, come up. Samastitihi. Nice. Prasarita Padottanasana will take A and C. Hands on the hips. Inhale tall. Exhale forward fold. Hands to the ground if possible between the feet. Inhale lengthen once more. Belly tucks in. Exhale forward fold. Elbows parallel to each other. Head towards the ground. Your head's on the ground. Maybe narrow your stance a bit. If it's towards the ground, that's amazing. Just stay there.
Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, hands to the hips, come halfway. Inhale, rise all the way up. Good. Inhale, arms up to a T. Exhale, clasp the hands behind the back. Inhale, elongate. Exhale, forward fold. Extra two breaths. Inhale, come all the way up, rise. Release the hand, step it to the front of the mat. Samastitihi. Good. Turning to the right side, Parshvottanasana, pyramid pose. Take the hands behind the back. Try to take the reverse namaste, otherwise hold the elbows. Inhale, grow tall. Exhale, forward fold. Drishti, gaze forward a bit towards the toes. Bring the elbows a bit higher towards the sky. Inhale, rise all the way up, turn around, lengthen, and exhale, forward fold. Inhale, come up, release the hands, and step to the front. It is beautiful. Moving on to the standing balancing poses. Take the right leg up, either hold the knee, or if you can, straighten the leg and hold the big toe. Belly in, forward fold. One, two, three, four, Five. Inhale, head up. Exhale, right leg to the right side. Drishti, gaze to the left. One, two, three, four, five. Center. Exhale, try to take a half a fold. Inhale, back up. Hands to the hips, point the toes. One, two, belly in. Three, Four, five, release. Nice, everybody. Second side. Here we go. Either hold the left knee or the foot, the toe, belly in. Exhale, fold. One, two, three, four, five. Inhale up. Exhale, open. Gaze to the right. One, two, three, four, five. Gaze to the center, leg to the center. Exhale, a little fold. Inhale, up. Point the toes, hands to the hips. One, two, three, Four, five, release. Nice, shake it away. Next one, right leg to half lotus. If it doesn't work for you, just please take tree pose. Ardha Bada Padmutanasana, wrap behind. Left hand at the heart. Exhale, forward fold. Left hand, if possible, to the ground. If you need to, both hands to the ground is fine. Fold all the way. Chest and chin towards the left leg. Breathe. Inhale. Lengthen a bit the spine. Exhale here. 
Inhale and come all the way up. And release. Nice, everybody. One more side. Left foot, left. Coming up to half lotus. Take the bind. You can use a strap if needed. Inhale and exhale forward fold. It's totally okay to keep the standing leg bending. Most importantly is to notice your breath and keep a steady drishti with a steady mind. Inhale, elongate. Exhale here. Inhale, rise. And release. Beautiful, everybody. Let's take Utkatasana. We'll skip the sun salute. Hold. Four. Lower the hips. Three. Two. One. Forward fold. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, happiness. Exhale, down dog. Warriors, right foot, warrior one, virabhadrasana. Come up, take the gaze up towards the sky, towards the hands. Breathe. Straighten the front leg. Keep the gaze up at the hands. Turn to the back. Warrior one, left knee bends. Powerful arms, but relax a bit in the shoulders. Keep your gaze at the left hand as you open warrior two, Virabhadrasana Ka. Straightening the left leg, turning over towards the right side, right knee bends, gaze is steady. Make sure your drishti is focused, but also soft. Sometimes ashtangis tend to look towards the nose and become cross-eyed. Some people follow fanatically without asking, what's the point? Can you look forward in the direction of your hands, but also maintain a softness, a joyfulness? within your breath and practice. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, the face is soft. Exhale, downward dog. Look between the hands, step or jump through to your seat. Dandasana, let's place the hands by the hips. Inhale, grow as tall as you can, bend the knees if needed. Tuck the chin, Jalandara Bandha. Adabandha, balls of the feet away from you, towards, toes towards you. Inhale, grow even taller, reach forward, Paschimottanasana. Any variation you want, we're taking only one today, staying a little longer. Belly in, exhale, relax. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, hands beside you, with or without the blocks. Jump back, walk back, whatever works for you. Lift, chaturanga. Inhale, upward. Exhale, downward dog. Jump through to sit. Purvottanasana, hands behind you. Lift the hips. Either bent knees or straight legs, hips high up. 
If your neck feels okay, drop the head. Otherwise, keep the chin to the chest. Three. Lower down. We're going to move on right into a forward fold here. Trianga Mukha Ekapada Paschimottanasana. Bend the right knee. Left leg straight. Belly tucks in. Forward fold. It's a little harder. The order is not necessarily from easy to hard, so just do as reasonable as you can. Remember, just enjoy the practice. Inhale up, switching sides. We'll jump back after this one, okay? Don't worry. Lengthen. When you're ready, forward fold. This is a good one to sit on blocks. If you don't have both sitting bones down, I recommend elevate your hips. And then sit up for your jump back, cross the legs, lift. Some of you need to jump back five times. That's okay if it's five little jumps with blocks, without. I believe all of those are better than simply walking back with no effort. Jump through to your seat, Janushil Shasana. Because it's the effort that gets you stronger and gives you the work and the focus. So left leg straight, right foot to the inside of the left thigh, lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. They say drishti towards the toes. I say drishti a bit forward in the direction that helps you lengthen the spine but not creates wrinkle in your forehead. Keep your eyes soft. And let's switch sides. Short forms uh, on days where you have a bit less time. Exhale, forward fold. Better to skip a few things than to skip the entire practice because you don't have time for everything. So I'll try and do the jump back, so lift, set up, cross, see if maybe you can cross other leg once in a while, switch the crossing of the legs. Inhale, really enjoy this upward dog, right, and downward dog. Jump through to your seat. I'm going to go to the Marichis, we'll do two, A and C. So right knee bends, left leg straight, wrap in front, either hands down on the ground or if you can, bind. Lengthen and fold wherever that may be. Inhale, lift. Release the hands. Switch legs, please. Go and try to reach way forward so your armpit is at the leg. Belly in, reach far forward to lengthen as much as possible and surrender. There we go. Let's take a jump back. Let's take a vinyasa. So again, cross the legs, lift up, gaze forward, jump back. Inhale, shine through. Exhale, down dog. Marichyasana C, twisting, jump, sit. Bending the right knee. Twisting over to the right, either hug or cross, or maybe, maybe bind. If you've taken the bind, 
Left hand reaches towards the right wrist. Left leg straight. Look to the right. Really maintain the breath. Soft, calm, Zen mind. Back to center, and we'll switch sides. Oh, if you could only see what I see as I switch sides, I get the lake, the mountains. What a view. Really, I wish on all of you to have the gift to come and practice with us here one day. Super duper beautiful. Back to center. Vinyasa, yippee-dee-yoo-ya. Don't worry, not too much more left. Just do your best. Jump through to your seat. Maybe your favorite pose, probably not. Navasana. So lift the legs up, bend, arms up, or if you can, over time, straighten the legs. See how your legs and back feel, breathe. Relax a bit in the shoulders and face and maintain the breath. Good. Cross the right over the left, plant the hands, lift up, release, let's do it again. Stay with us, left over right, lift up, release, one more, here we go, straight legs, breathe, nice, cross, jump back, I'm going to fake my jump back, a little tired after Navasana, inhale, up and stay. Stay a few extra breaths. I don't know. Nice to release the back a bit. After the forward folds, after Navasana. Cobra or upward dog, your choice. Into the downward dog. Look between the hands. We're going to jump through to sit. Great. Bada Konasana. Bound angle pose, feet together. Knees to the side. Inhale, grow tall. Open the feet. Exhale, reach forward. Once more, any forward fold. If you ever need to sit on a block, don't hesitate. I know Ashtanga says hold your, hold your feet. I find it actually more efficient to walk your hands forward. It helps create length in the spine. Just make sure your sitting bones are still Grounding, reaching down towards the earth. Returning to breath. We'll take a few extra breaths here. It's so lovely. Softness around the eyes. Inhale, slowly coming up. We're going to open the legs for Upavishta Konasana. So take the legs wide apart. Again, if you need to bend the knees a bit or sit on a block, lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. I'm not going as wide as possible because that would become a different pose. So just go pretty wide. Again, hands can be up, forearms, or eventually chin down. We're going to take B, so we're going to come up, bend the knees if you need to, to lift up, hold the sides of the feet or the big toes, whatever works for you, eventually the sides of the feet, straighten or work towards straightening the legs, look up, three, relax the shoulders, two, relax the forehead and the eyes, happy vinyasa, cross the legs, jump back.
Jump through to your seat. We're going to lay down on our backs for a fun, lovely stretch for the legs. Slow with control. Lift the right leg up. Take the big toe. Head up towards the chin. And breathe. One. Supta Parangustasana. This is too much. Bend the left knee. Head down. Open the right leg to the right side. Take the gaze to the left side. Inhale, come up. Exhale, chin to shin. Inhale, head down. Exhale, leg down. Inhale, right left leg up. Exhale, head, chin towards the shin. Try to keep the left shoulder relaxed. Head down, exhale, open left leg to the side and take the gaze over to the right side. Staying with breath, calm eyes and really keep bringing the mind back to the present, just the sound of your ujjayi breath. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, chin to shin. Inhale, head down. Exhale, leg down. Great. If you have Chakrasana, the backward flip, great. If not, roll up to sit and take a vinyasa seated. We're going to jump through to sit one more time. Slowly lowering to your back. Take the legs over the head. Feet together, hold the big toes. Combo of two poses, so we'll stay here for two more breaths. And then try to roll up and balance. You can keep the knees bent or legs straight. Belly in, relax the shoulders, over time look up. Release. Okay, we'll skip the jump back. We're going to go right for our back bends. So you can go ahead and lower down to the back. And we're going to do three or four of these. So you can start at your pace, whether you're doing the bridge pose first or if you can come right up to Urdhva Danyurasana. Your choice. Here you go. Set yourself up and lift. Make sure you're breathing. That's the only real requirement about back bends. Really breathe. Try to keep the feet parallel, the face relaxed, and the breath flowing. Beautiful. Your choice. You can lower down, take a moment break, and then come back up. Same or upward bow. If you're up and you don't need a break, just walk the hands in a bit and stay up. Remember to breathe all the while. Good. Either lower down and take a break. You can lower to your head and move the hands a centimeter in and then lift up. Just don't move too much. Good. Some of you will stay for two more breaths and then lower down. Some of you roll up to standing and one time down. And then we all lower down to the ground. Good. It's forward fold, but start with bringing the knees to the chest just for 
A breath should feel nice. Roll a bit side to side. And then roll up to sit. Paschimottanasana. If you need to bend the knees, by all means, do so. Belly tucks in. See if you can really relax into the pose. We'll stay a few extra breaths. Relax the shoulders and forehead. Lift up. I'll guide us through shoulder stand. If you really want to do a long headstand instead, you can. We'll just take shoulder stand today. It's short form. So lower down to your back. And then if you need it even easier, just place a block underneath your hips and stay there with block stand. Otherwise, lift up to shoulder stand. Watch the toes and keep the breath alive. <clears throat> Legs over the head into plow or halasana. Bending the knees towards the ears, Karnapidasana. Legs back up to the sky. Either take the lotus if you have it, or you can just take Crossing the legs any way that works for you, even Baddha Konasana. We're going to just stay up for a few breaths. Breathe. And then hug the knees in. Hands on the mat. Try to roll down kind of with control. And then once you're down right away, lifting the chest up, crown of the head to the ground, Matsyasana, fish pose. Stay as you are, simply straighten the legs. Uttana Padasana. Release down, bring the knees to the chest. Lower down to Shavasana. We'll do a variation of the, fi of the finishing poses after. Just really surrender completely. Close your eyes. Maybe take one big, big exhale to really feel everything released, relaxed. No effort, not even Ujjayi breath.
Take a deeper breath in. Begin to awaken your fingers and toes. Bring the knees up and roll on to the right side. Slowly make your way up to sit. Take the hands in Jnana Mudra. Observe the breath. Let it be as slow and as deep as possible. Let go of the control of the breath, just let it be natural and observe. A sense of ease and joyfulness. It's as if you can feel without really moving the eyes much that they're smiling. seeing the light from within, feel empowered, feel gratitude. Bring the hands to the heart. Maybe commit, if you've enjoyed this, to do it again so you can really take care of yourself. We also have the full Ashtanga practice that you can practice with us. And make sure to share this with some other people that can enjoy. Leave us a comment. Thank you all so much for your practice. Until next time, namaste.